Sun, I know the guys are only coming there with me as in slant at the Madison. You can't be in a beard at someone else and I start again. Every morning I get up and I go outside and stand towards the east and I start praying. I was told that was the time of where the holy people are around and that when they see me out there sprinkling my white corn and Mother Earth fills it, Father Sky sees me. That's where I get in touch with, you know, the first glimmer of light for today. That's what I need for my spirit to help me glow throughout the day, to give of that kind of spirit to others. Every day, Sheila Claw Starr shares her spirit with people going through some of the toughest times of their lives. She uses the prayers and traditions she learned from her grandmother on the Navajo reservation to help them heal. Detox centers, rehab centers, transitional homes, halfway houses, jails, prisons, juvenile centers. There are times when I go to the hospitals. There are, there are um, times when I go to um, families um, who are having problems, especially with women with domestic violence and, and the children who are sexually abused. Wherever I go, that's what I'm going to give out, is the, the love and the care. I wanted to welcome each and every one of you here to this talking circle. I know I want to be clean and sober. I mean, I've been an addict pretty much most of my life. I'm just grateful that I have that chance. I'm here today and uh, been creative with that. It's all I got. Until recently, American Indian spiritual practices like talking circles and sweat lodges were hard to find in traditional mental health and substance abuse treatment, says therapist Gabriel Basurto. When I first started in the field, we didn't talk about cultural diversity. It was uh, one size fits all, and that was it. You know, cookie cutter, if you respond to this, fine. If you don't respond to this approach, fine. You know, that's on you. You didn't try. When we started learning about cultural, you know, elements of treatment, things started changing. That's uh, Ray and Sheila coming. Okay. Okay. So uh, let Betty know what, what we're doing. Edward Grijalva, a counselor with Pasquayaki and Tohono O'odham roots, saw the change and its impact firsthand when he developed one of Southern Arizona's first culture-based treatment programs. We incorporated uh, the use of uh, uh, native spirituality like uh, medicine men and that sort of thing. When you incorporate culture into the treatment services uh, research, uh, uh, has shown us that the outcomes are great. You know, we saw many people just change their lives dramatically. Scientists don't know why these spiritual practices help people heal, but researcher Tommy Begay is trying to change that. He studies how historical trauma, the centuries of forced assimilation, displacement, and violence that American Indian communities endured, affects physical and mental health across generations. What really left you know, the, the people, uh, Native American people, indigenous people, is really a loss of identity, a loss of a spiritual connection. Tommy Begay's research suggests that spiritual connection has a measurable effect on the body and mind. It can trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, the part of the nervous system that soothes us. The healing capacity of traditional Native American uh, modalities such as sweat lodge and also uh, talking circle group. It's to sort of bring, uh, you know, use um, sacred uh, traditional experiential methods to, you know, focus on bringing the parasympathetic nervous system into play and bring a person to peace. Sheila Claw Starr doesn't need to know why her traditions heal. She experienced what they can do in her own struggle with addiction. 
I didn't want that anymore, that life anymore. I wanted to better myself. I wanted to be a more positive person, you know, and I wanted to love myself for who I am. That was the only way I knew how was to go back to my tradition and my prayers and my songs, my ceremonies. Now Sheila shares what she found with others. You know, however way you want to express yourself, that's, this is like your time. In the process, she's helping to rewrite the rules of mental health and substance abuse treatment. It is a way of connecting with, with our clients, whereas before it was them and us. Now it's us, you know, all together. So it's, it's a vital, important piece now that, that we're learning as far as the treatment is concerned. And bringing this, this element, you know, into this program has been nothing but positive and effective. It's all about the beauty way. It's all about um, being one within yourself, your mind, body, and spirit. Because if you don't know who you are and where you're coming from, the spirit is unbalanced. And so when they get that knowledge back into them, that's when they mend their spirit.